Uh, Bill Venners, our team Inc. and President and CEO. Oh, <laughs> well, I was, uh, Artima was a developer community website uh, for many years and back in the mid 90s. Uh, we were always looking around for interesting stories and somehow we caught wind of a release of Scala and we put a news item uh, about a, a Scala release. This is in 19, 19, is that, can that be right? This is 2016, so that would have been 2006, yes. It wasn't, it wasn't before Scala existed. So it was 2006, and uh, we got an email from this guy named Martin Oderski who said, actually, you didn't quite get it right. <laughs> uh, it's not just about XML. Uh, so anyway, uh, it, we, we talked about the XML literals in it. And, and uh, uh, so um, what happened was we, uh, in our like looking around for news items and interviewing people, we kind of got this. Uh, a feeling that the world might be ready for functional programming, that it might be ready to go mainstream. This from not, not just from, you know, Scala, but other other things like uh, in Ruby and Python, which were quite popular. Uh, people were saying that uh, that it, uh, you know, the dynamic typing was the future. But within with when you ask them why, they would mention things that were actually functional features of that language. So we we uh, contacted Martin Odersky at one point uh, to say, hey, can we 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 talk to you on the phone. So we got a phone call with him and said, would you like to write articles and, and about functional programming and use Scala as the example? Because we thought we would try to lead by getting in front of where we thought people wanted to go anyway. And he said, sure. And, and he said, I'd, I was also thinking be, we should, there should be a book about Scala. And, and we said, well, we've been thinking about publishing books. We hadn't done it yet. Uh, so we, we uh, decided, well, let, let, why don't we do that together? So that's how the programming in Scala came about. So I wasn't originally going to be an author. It was not going to be an author. It was just going to be Martin Oderski and Lex Spoon, and our team was going to publish it. But it was a huge task, so we needed another author. And, and then I decided that you know, I, I would volunteer because um, then I could go around and promote it. Um, and uh, it would give me more credibility. But the problem is I didn't know Scala, right? And I'm supposed to be like helping write a book about it. So the way I... Uh, I did two things. One is we had a, a meeting every week with me and Lex and Martin Odersky, so I got to ask questions. So that was invaluable for like two years or a year and a half. I got an, uh, you know, an half an hour to an hour a week with Martin. And then, um, then I, I had this test framework called Sweet Runner, and I thought, you know, why don't I port this to, to Scala just as an exercise, and I could, I'll learn, learn Scala that way, and that's where Scala test came from. So, uh, so I learned by you know, asking Martin and Lex questions, and, uh, and uh, writing Scala tests be, to, as a way to learn Scala. Yeah, I think my ideal stack is pancakes, actually, but uh, I had that yesterday. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I actually, uh, I, 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 I wouldn't, Node.js does not pop to mind. Um, so the JVM, I guess I'm an old Java guy and uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't have a good answer for that. I think th th things are always. Uh, uh, I, we, we do consulting, and we sort of use, you know, what that's already sort of decided, usually for when I have to do programming. So. Oh well, when I go to conferences, because I. It's kind of like, I go to a lot of Scala conferences and, and you see old friends. And um, I tend to not go to the talks very much because I can watch them later and, and I get a lot out of talking to people and, and meeting new people uh, I really like. But uh, just, I think it's quite stimulating to just talk about stuff. And uh, this, this week it was, uh, oh, it was just really nice to, uh, to talk to friends. Actually, this is a tough week. So it was good to see people. So I, I think in particular, I, I can't really pull anyone out, but just the fact that you know, getting together in person is a really um, important part of the community. We do a lot of stuff over the internet and over these you know, Gitter or email lists or whatever, but uh, getting together in person is really an important uh, thing. So.